Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to generate a PDF file using HTML to PDF.js. It's a very simple library. You can simply take a HTML content and convert that into a PDF file using this library. And it got a lot of options to customize the output. Uh, let me show it to you where it was. So these are the options uh, that you can utilize. But we will look for the basic functionality, which is this one. So let's get started. First of all, we need a index file. So let's create one. So it will be index.html. We need a basic structure. A link to the style sheet. A script file at the bottom, which is script.js. We need a div element here. Also at the top, we'll add one button. Let's make it generate. Inside this div element, we'll have one h2 element let's make it hello world let's have some dummy text around 100 words let's add one image file here i already got one image test.jpg just give me a moment to copy and paste it here so that's the file test.jpg now let's create a style sheet here First of all, we'll select the div element. So width will be 50%. Margin will be 0 and auto. Padding will be 10 pixels. Border will be 1 pixel solid black. Background color will be this. F4, F4. Select the button element. Display will be block. Margin will be zero and auto. And padding will be five pixel and ten pixels. Select the image element. Display will be block. Height will be around two hundred pixels. Margin will be zero and auto. Just save it. Open this file in the browser, and this is the output. Let's add a margin here. So let's make it margin bottom ten pixels. Perfect. Now it's time to work with the HTML to PDF library. So we need this CDN link, just copy it and paste it. Save it. Now we only need this piece of code. Let me show it to you. We need this piece of code. Just copy it. And let's create a script file here. It will be script.js. Simply select the button element first. So let's make it PDNJ. Add a click event listener to it. And paste that code, which we just copied from there. And here, instead of get element by ID, let's make it query selector. I will select the div element. So let's pass div here. Remove this margin thing because we don't need it. And just remove these comments. That's all you need. So this is the file name. This is the quality of the image. And this is the scale. How much you want to scale. Basically, it behind the scene uses HTML to canvas library. So you can pass the configuration here. Also, it uses JS PDF library, so you can also pass the configuration for that. Now, before we go to the HTML page, we need to remove this piece of code because it will download the PDF file twice and that thing which we don't want. So, you only need this line of a code to download the PDF file. Save it. Go to the browser. Now, click on generate. It will download the PDF file. And this is the output. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.